Hello everyone. This is Cindy from Kraus House Sift and Thrift. How are you doing? If you're new to my channel, I am a reseller. I've been reselling for about 20 years on eBay and I started this channel to help resellers that are about to start selling on eBay or another platform or are beginners. Um, so I can help you. Um, I would like to use my knowledge um, and spread the wealth, as they say. Um, hopefully what you learn from this channel will help you, um, you know, find what to buy when you go out sourcing. And today's video, I thought it would answer some questions. did that when I first started this channel in April and I've kind of gotten away from it. I've been doing mostly footage of thrift stores and yard sale hauls and what sold videos and those are all very helpful to resellers and I hope entertaining and inspiring too. Uh, but you know I got a lot of views on my first couple of videos where I was answering questions so I thought I would kind of go back to that. I will let you guys know, I kind of suck at screen sharing. Um, I did try and sign up with a program, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's not going so well for me at the moment. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to um, see when I go do things on the screen. I hope you can, it looks like you can. So if not, I will walk you through it step by step. And I hope this helps you out. This is my goal anyway. Um, so anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. That would really help my channel out. If you could give me a thumbs up, a like. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Send me a comment. This stuff all helps me out quite a bit on YouTube. And I'm not at the point where they're recommending videos, but this would all go towards that. I've got about 23 subscribers. Um, maybe I shouldn't admit that, but no, I've been building my subscriber base and I'm really happy and thrilled with everyone who subscribed. Of course, I would love to get more subscribers, but I want to make content that really helps you guys. So please comment. Let me know if this is helpful to you. If there's another kind of video you want me to make, I, I was thinking about doing a shipping video. I do ship every single day. My sales have been pretty good lately. So I um, if that's something you want to see, let me know. Um, anyway, let's get going on the questions. Uh, the first question when this, how I got these questions is I went to YouTube and I typed in how, what, why, and when eBay. And these are the questions that popped up in the drop down. So that means uh, more prob most likely more than one person have asked these questions. And I don't know if they got the answers or not, but I thought I would provide the answers to the best of my knowledge. Okay, so the first one I typed in why eBay, and sorry, all of a sudden I have a runny nose. Of course, that's the way it goes. When do we start filming, get a runny nose? Or you have to sneeze or something. <laughs> it's just the law of averages, I guess, on YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> um, the first question is, why did eBay suspend my account? Well, that could be for multiple reasons, um, but you will know because eBay will send you an email and in the email will explain exactly why they're suspending you. Uh, most of the time it would be a temporary suspension and I mean, unless you did something really bad, then you're off eBay for good and you don't want that. So you gotta be very careful you follow eBay's guidelines. And um, you know what, honestly, I don't think it's ever happened to me. It might've once many, many years ago. Uh, I can't, can't think of why that would be, but if it, if it happened, just happened for a few days and then I was able to get you know, right back to listing again. What they do is they suspend your uh, sales. And I think you can't list either. 
So they, they make it so you can't list or you can't sell anything. Like this happened to a couple hustling hooks on YouTube. They mentioned they got suspended. And I went and looked at their uh, store and it showed that there was no items for sale. So I think eBay just removes all the items or at least makes it invisible to other people that are trying to view their items. So uh, yeah, but I'm sure that's got lifted. I think it was like a three day thing for them and it wasn't even like they did something that bad, but you know, eBay is eBay and they'll do certain things because they have their reasons. So it's not a good thing that your account would get suspended, but it's not a horrible thing, depending on what you did, of course, and what the email says. Email will tell you what uh, the problem is, why this suspended you, and they will also tell you uh, when it will be lifted and what you can do. So like what are what you could do uh, in the meantime, or what you could do to avoid this. So that is something you're gonna know because eBay will, will message you that. So I would just, my recommendation is read up on eBay's rules and guidelines and just follow those to a T and you'll be fine. The other question is why does eBay hold funds? Well, if you're talking about when you're a new seller, um, eBay didn't used to do this, but they started this a few years ago, where um, you're a brand new seller, you start listing items, you start getting sales. Well, what they do is they expect you to ship that item, not out of the money that the buyer paid, which is typical, once you've been selling a while, but they expect you to take the money out of your own pocket, ship the item, and then within a couple of weeks, they release the money to you. And I don't know the exact reason for this. I could speculate, and my speculation would be is that people screwed over eBay or tried to screw over eBay because when I first started selling in 2001, didn't have any problem, you'd sell and you get paid right away. There was no managed payments. It was uh, PayPal and it was PayPal up until last year. Uh, and, but then over the years, I opened a second account in 2012 and I had to sell a bunch of items until, um, and I had to pay for shipping and then I had to wait for my money. Um, eBay holds the funds until it clears that buyer's account. And then once it clears, then they release the money into your account. And that's why they're, they're doing it because they got screwed. I'm sure, uh, that, you know, people were taking advantage or doing fraudulent things on eBay. So eBay decided, well, if you're a new seller, you don't have any feedback or much feedback, they're going to, you know, kind of penalize you. They want you actually to go through, um, the trenches, I guess, for lack of a better word, they want you to start listing a bunch of items and selling a bunch of items. So what I would recommend is that you start listing a bunch of items for five bucks or I know that's going to be low profit, even less than that. Just start selling them, getting them sold, boom, 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 boom. And I think you have to, I don't remember the number, but I think when I started my second eBay ID, I had to sell like 50 to 100 items and get a certain amount of feedback. And I had to pay for the shipping. And then eBay took a couple of really um, weeks to release the money to me. And then I just had to keep doing it, doing, 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 rinse and repeat, <laughs> so to speak. And uh, then once I got to a certain limit, then they, they stopped all that. Uh, when a buyer bought something, they paid me and I got paid right away. So, uh, you know, once that's over with that trial period, you're fine. It is a pain in the butt, you know, in the beginning, I will be honest. <laughs> it was for me, I was very frustrated because you're footing the bill for the shipping and you know, it, it's, it's pretty much unfair, but I get why eBay does it and they have reasons for doing things. So just if you can get over the hump, so to speak, and get you a bunch of items sold quickly, then you will be getting your money back on that shipping because when you get paid in a couple of weeks and eBay releases the money to you, you do get paid back, but it's like you're footing the money up front. 
and then you're getting it back in a couple of weeks. So it's not like you're paying for the shipping in the long term. It's just in the short term. So I still think it's worth it. eBay is an awesome platform. None of the other platforms do that. Mercari doesn't do that. Poshmark doesn't have Facebook Marketplace. You could start selling with them right away. However, they have a dis different system. With Mercari and Poshmark, you ship the item to the customer. The customer receives it. The customer rates you. You rate the customer. Then you receive your money. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, what they do is once the buyer gets the items, item, items that you sell them, uh, they release the funds after five days. And it used to be they put it into your bank account, but now they have, <laughs> my cat just jumped up. Now they have um, a way to get the money into PayPal, which I love. Oh, hi, Oliver. This is Oliver, our orange tabby, our six month year old. Say hi. He's just sitting there. Hi everyone, I'm Oliver. I'm a pain in the butt. I get into mom's everything. <laughs> so I don't usually like him in my office, but he's a sweetheart. How can you not love him? He does go with our other cat. Okay, buddy, you got to keep filming here. So I think I kind of explained all that, but eBay does have a reason for holding the funds. They will release it in a couple of weeks. And then once you get to a certain threshold, you've sold enough items, build enough feedback, um, you will get the money just like everybody else does who's been selling on eBay for a while. And it goes into managed payments, which means it'll go into your bank account and eBay release, releases it within a couple of weeks. Not a couple of weeks, sorry you guys, a couple days. For me, if eBay sends me an email, like let's say it's today, I'm gonna get the money tomorrow, unless it's a weekend. Like if they send it on Friday, I won't get it till Monday. But if they send on Thursday, I'll get it Friday. So it's Monday through Friday payments. And it does depend on your bank. But with my bank, I have KeyBank. It only takes two days. So, or one day once eBay releases the money. Uh, but it takes eBay a couple days once you sell something to, they kind of hold it for a couple days. And they're making sure that you could use that money for shipping. If you go beyond a couple days, then they go ahead and release the money. And then you've got to pay for the shipping out of PayPal. So, you know, it's another one of those things. you got to learn to ship your items within a day or two. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the next question I typed in is when eBay? And so the only thing, only question I saw in YouTube was, when does when does eBay pay me? Or when will eBay pay me? Well, I think I just answered that. <laughs> Once you're on managed payments, after you go through that trial period, uh, that it could take from my bank, it takes a day. But eBay does say it depends on the bank. It could take several days. So it just depends on your bank. And you'll get to know that once you get your first payment, you'll figure it out. And also eBay allows you to set your payouts daily or weekly. I do mine daily just because I want my funds as soon as possible. But some people do weekly. Um, that also gives you more time to ship. So they will hold the funds longer until they send you a payout. But I like getting my payouts throughout the week. So I have mine set to daily. So if you set it daily, you'll, you'll get it anywhere between one to, I'd say three days, depending on your bank after eBay releases the money. And they will send you an email that says your payout is such and such and was sent on this day. So you will know eBay is very transparent with these things. So... I think I covered all those questions. Uh, how does eBay, I did how eBay. So how do you sell an item? Well, this is what I'm gonna try to do because I haven't, I can do a recorder. I've kind of experimented with some, but uh, since I'm not that good with it yet, I thought I would try this. So when you're on eBay screen and you're signed in, so you know what, you guys, um, they have changed things so much, but they keep changing the menu options. Like if I click on selling, it used to take me to all my listings. And now we get this one. 
<laughs> so then I go to, um, well, this is the way I do. I go to active and then it shows all my listings, but you don't have to do that. You could just go, um, you could do create listing. That's really what you should be doing. <laughs> So these are my drafts here. They're asking if I want to continue the drafts. We'll know. And this isn't the way I do it, but if you're a new um, seller on eBay, you might want to try it this way. So you type in whatever. Let's say I want to sell a picture. I don't know. I'm just, oh, wow. It's really slow. What? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, get started. So obviously there's so many different kinds of pictures. Let's pretend I wanted to sell this. So you would select and use this product, which would be great if that's what you had to sell. Hey, that's mine. You could just do that. And um, there it is. Everything's there. There's your stock photo. It's already pre-filled for you. If for some reason you were selling a different kind or type, you can uncheck this and it won't pre-fill that. And then you could just type in your whole title. I would use a longer title than that. And keywords is a whole different video, but you're gonna wanna do some research and put the right keywords in your title deck because that's very, very important. That's how people find your item. So uh, I'll do keywords on another video, but Anyway, there's all, it's just very easy, self-explanatory. Oh, great. My cat's going to jump up there. No, buddy. No, 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 no. I don't like when he does that. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on down. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to get him. Oh, he's holding on. Wow. He doesn't want to leave. Okay. Say goodbye, Oliver. Bye. Sorry. You got to go, buddy. Go play with Sparta. Go on. Yeah, um, John was working from home, so that was perfect because he would keep Oliver entertained downstairs, but now John got a new job, so he's at work. And Sparta kind of does his own thing. So they play together a lot, but um, Sparta's just kind of roaming around and or sleeping. And so Oliver's a kitten, and he just wants to play, play, play. Anyway. All right, so I think you could get the gist of this. I'm not going to go through all this now, but it's just very simple. All self-explanatory here. They give you the fields you need to fill out. So our categories. That's the other thing. You have to decide whether you want to get a store or not. Now, if you start an eBay and you don't want, you're not ready to get a store, you could just start listing things. But I think eBay only gives you about 10 listings. So that's not a lot. <laughs> and you're probably not going to get much sales of that uh, from that. So I would recommend a starter store. It's only $5 a month. Uh, I think you get, gosh, you guys, I should have researched this. Um, I know with a basic store, you get a thousand free listings. Starter, I think is 250, which actually lasts a while, but I, on my other store, I just ran out so that when I do that, I just, keep listing on Cross House Sift and Thrift. So I just don't even, because I get 10,000. I mean, 10,000, 1,000. Whoa, do your research. Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, my head is just not functioning the best today. So anyway, your photos, I, I take at least, depending on the item, at least six photos. Uh, a lot of times I do 12 photos because I want to give the buyer every possible angle. Um, now, if it's something brand new in the box, I probably just do like three or three to five pictures because there's only so many <laughs> angles you could take. Um, but if it's a used item, yeah, I use up to 12 most of the time. Just I want to give people all, all possible angles of the item or items I'm selling. So you're just scrolling down, you got the type color. Fill it as much as you can here. This is very important. eBay loves when you fill out all this stuff. Otherwise, they're gonna require certain things to be like measurements. They wanna know the height, width, depth, that a color, brand. Those are things they really wanna know. The rest, they'll say recommended, but fill it as much as you can. Here's, here's your description down here. Fixed price, I always do fixed price. Never do, I 
rarely do I do well with auctions. I did put something on auction. It's a pearl and diamond ring that I'm selling for, I put it for $195. I'm putting on a five day auction. I'm pretty sure I'll sell it on that. I sold some diamond earrings that way. So if it's a very valuable high end item, yeah, auction, and you don't know what to price it at. Um, yeah, do an auction. Otherwise I wouldn't do auctions. Fixed price has worked great for me. Buy it now. I always do buy it now. I want to give people offers, um, the chance to give me offers. Here we go. We got the shipping. <laughs> um, anyway, wait, all that. And if you don't already have a scale, I would highly recommend one. In fact, you're going to have to have one for eBay. You can't go guessing on weight. And once you've been doing it a while, sure. Yeah, but I still don't guess. I always, always, always weigh my items. I don't want to get stuck with um, putting that item weighed two pounds and it's five pounds. Or that's just an example. It's probably not going to happen. But yeah, you want to, and I don't want to overcharge my buyers either. So you want to be as accurate as possible. And if it's a big item, I would say put the measurements in there too. Because they have a place for measurements right here. Um, I always boost, I do promoted listings. I do them at 5% and then I do this one too, volume pricing offer, but I've never had anyone take me up on that, but Hey, they could for you. You never mind. And then list item. That's it. It's very simple. And anything you don't know about Google or look on, look on eBay's website for the guidelines. Um, I think I'm just going to do a couple more questions. That was how to sell an item, how to ship an item. Well, when you, uh, when you sell an item, if you have the cha-ching set up, that's so much fun. Cha-ching. Love that. All eBay sellers love that sound. It's just so exciting because it's like Christmas. You just don't know what you sold or how much you sold it for. Of course, you're not going to be as excited about a $9 item as you are for a $50 item. But I, I love all my sales and I'm just happy to get them. So if you don't have cha-ching set up, it doesn't matter. You'll still get an email from eBay saying you sold this item. It'll tell you what you sold, how much you sold it for and get ready to ship. So click the link in the email. Um, and then you ship your item. You could also go to your seller hub and, um, you know, click on what you sold and ship it that way. But everything's pretty self-explanatory. You guys, I, I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm, I'm a, I'm an intelligent person. I'm not highly intelligent. So if I could do it, anybody could do it. It's pretty simple and you'll learn what you need to learn along the way. So, uh, yeah, anyway, shipping the items, just click on the email or go to Seller Hub and click on the item that you sold. And then the screen pops up and it gives you all the fields you need to fill out. Make sure shipping's correct. I reweigh the item at that point, but that's after I packed it in the box or the envelope. Um, whether it's in one of these, which I use for first class or these, which I use for priority or a box. I have a whole bunch of boxes that I store and that's a topic for another time I had to get boxes but um, you're gonna want to have boxes you're gonna want to have shipping supplies I have a whole bunch of tape uh, I don't know if you guys can see all this over here yeah my um, rolls of tape and um, so yeah so that's, I think that's all I'm going to cover today. I don't, I, I like to make about 20 minute videos. Sometimes I go a little over, but I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to, the next time I'll continue with these. And if you really like this content, let me know my, um, and go check out my eBay store if you want. Um, Krauss House Sift and Thrift. I'll also put it up on the screen. And um, my YouTube channel is also Krauss House Sift and Thrift. You can follow me on Instagram, Cross House Sift and Thrift. And you can also email me if you want, Cross House Sift and Thrift at gmail.com. So I hope you like this. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye.